Hello everyone, I'd like to talk about the informal speech writing and I'm here to give you some notes and hints and sample. So start off with, uh, let us start off with the structure. So very simply, you got to greet your audience. So beginning of course with the most important, if it's a, a bit more formal speech, uh, for example, you need to give it on stage uh, in an assembly. Uh, you start with the headmaster, teachers, fellow students, um, in another occasion, you could use ladies and gentlemen. Now, this piece of writing, of course, it is an informal speech writing. It's going to be done in class to your classmates. So uh, you could say gentlemen or my fellow classmates. In the introduction, it's quite important that you state your role. Why are you here? Who are you? Okay, uh, your purpose. Okay, starting with uh, the purpose of your speech is quite important. So the you prepare your audience for uh, what is to come next. Uh, the next part is the body paragraphs. Now you are writing for 250 to 300 words. So you could write maybe two paragraphs or three paragraphs. Uh, most importantly, you got to make sure you organize your thoughts. So then each paragraph actually focuses on one point. Make sure you have a conclusion, uh, restating the key points in your paragraphs. Maybe you have three paragraphs, so restating three points there. And at the end of the speech, you would say thank you. Okay. Uh, usually, you uh, it is actually not good if you say thank you for listening to my speech or this is the end of my speech. Okay. This is very um, uh, quite awkward. Okay. So just say thank you. Okay. So the next part of the note is uh, a speech sample. So starting with gentlemen, okay, so uh, addressing your classmates. Uh, if you look at the sample here, I'd like to ask you to raise your hand if you know someone who is really smart. So you wait for the classmates to raise their hand. Keep your, uh, please keep your hand up if you live with that person. Some of you are as lucky as I am. So you get your audience involved, okay? So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about how you can begin uh, to, to make sure that your audience are um, more attentive. And this person um, actually tells you the purpose of this speech. So a lot of people don't have anyone in their lives who is even vaguely smart. However, I live with someone whom I consider one of the wisest people in the world. My mother is that person. Not only does she always give me the best advice and is always understanding whenever I make a mistake, she is a world-renowned researcher with a lot of experience, okay? So right off the bat um, here, the purpose of the speech is very clear, okay? My mother is that person. Uh, she, the person is actually going to share about um, his mother, okay? So three body paragraphs, um, you can read that on your own. So it's very good. Uh, support with a lot of um, examples to uh, support his point. Now, in conclusion, you can see that the points are actually reiterated here. So then uh, your audience would know exactly what you actually covered. Okay. And at the very end, you can just simply say, thanks, everyone. Now, uh, I'd like to talk a bit about the language here. Now, um, we we actually use um, informal language if you actually are speaking to or your audience actually somebody you're very close with okay so if you do whatsapp messages of course you're gonna write um, you know with informal language and one way that you can make your speech informal is that you it's it really basically comes down to boils down to uh, the word choices, okay? So I've given you some examples here. So these words would be considered more informal. So these are the words you would use. And stay away from these formal words in your speech, in this particular speech, okay? So if you want to say children, hey, use kids, okay? Um, something that is correct, you can just say, say right, okay? Um, inexpensive, that's a large word, uh, and it can be um, actually changed. You can choose the word cheap instead, okay? 
Now,、uh, other words such as emphasis words. So、uh, instead of saying much or many,、uh, lots, lots of, or a lot of. Okay, tons of. Now these are very informal. Heaps of. Okay.、Uh, coming to verbs. Here,、um, an example like apologize. This is very formal. Okay. Hey, I said sorry to her. Okay.、Um, so you can go through this. On your own, it's going to be in the notes. Transitionals, okay.、Uh, for example, anyways, okay. But, okay.、Uh, well, do this ASAP, okay.、Um, to top it all off, okay. Or in a nutshell, instead of all、oh, to summarize or in conclusion. Of course,、um, you can use this. It's not too informal, but you can choose to actually use these just to, you know.、Um, Try to remember some informal words for for later assignments. Okay, lastly, so nine extra tips on writing a good speech. Okay, so make sure that、um, uh, every speech you write, make sure you got two objectives. Okay, so you want to make a good impression. Okay, you want to leave your audience with、uh, two to three takeaways.、Uh, that would mean maybe if you want to give a speech on something,、um, you you want. Your audience to actually learn something from your speech, so you should keep in mind the two or three things that、um, you really want to pound in,、uh, into their head. Okay,、um, and here it says the rest is just entertainment. It is true at times, you know, when you listen to a speech, if it's not entertaining, pe people actually don't want to listen to it. Okay, so you don't really have to list out everything、uh, you want to tell them. Maybe two to three takeaways that would be fine. Okay. So、uh, I like you to read through the notes. Okay, so I'll just briefly go through this a bit with you. Number one, be memorable. Okay, so、uh, you could. There was an example. There's an example here、uh, in the movie. Say anything. The valedictorian actually,、um, you know,、uh, delivered the speech, and then the person actually used "go back." Okay, it actually stunned the audience as you know everyone's very excited、uh, for the future about the future. But the person actually tells them to、hey, go back and you know reflect. Okay, so you could be、um, you could make it very memorable、uh, in your speech. Make sure you have a structure, of course, a path and the destination. You want to make sure everything is organized. Okay, so、uh, you you are actually like a tour guide leading your audience、um, to this destination. So.、Uh, So you guide them、uh, very clearly with transitions. Okay. So with the opening number three, so you can start off with something very shocking. Okay. You can start off with something very amusing, like interesting story,、uh, humorous anecdote. Of course,、um, the in the example above, I、uh, we had this opening with a question. Okay. So this involves and engages your audience right away. So、uh, number four is the right tone. Okay, attitude. Of course, your audience is your classmates.、Um, so, you know what what tone do you want to use? Of course, it could be a bit more casual.、Uh, humanize yourself.、Uh, this has to do with really、uh, helping you connect、um, with the audience. Okay, so if you know a lot of speakers actually start off with、um, saying, "Oh, I am actually very nervous on stage." Okay, this actually helps.、Um, Uh, the audience actually relate to you because everyone who needs to do a speech usually there,、uh, they get very nervous. So right away you you get that connection. Okay,、um, there's an ex、uh, another suggestion here to share a story about yourself.、Um, this actually, of course, pull your audience right into your world. Okay,、uh, number six, repeat yourself. Okay, of course you don't. Like it when teachers repeat, 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 right? Their points, but in a speech, it is good to actually repeat key points. So make sure your audience uh, uh, get、um, that takeaway. Even after you know three days of your speech, they would they would just remember something from your speech. Okay.、Uh, use of transitions. Make sure you.、Um, You you actually highlight what is important in your speech, okay? For example, here I I really like this phrase, okay? So so here's the lesson, okay? And then your audience actually they would listen. Oh, so this is the lesson. It's the important part, okay? I better come back if I was daydreaming. 
you want to end strong, okay, you can end with, you know, a success story, you can call to action, you know, everyone, you, you know, after hearing my speech, I hope that, you know, you, you can um, also do this and that, okay, be, be motivated to do something, okay. Uh, of course, you want to keep it uh, short because, you know, people don't have a lot of attention, okay? So hopefully this has helped you a bit. So lastly, I just want to show you this, which is your uh, Google documents that your teacher is going gonna to send you. So you need to write uh, 250 to 300. I would advise you to write 300 words if you can. It's just because that you need to present this in front of your classmates. Um, these are some possible topics for your speech. Okay, for example, I think you would like the things that boys don't know about girls. Okay, mm, I think you got to do research on that. Okay, if I rule the world, I like to listen to this one. Um, teachers should be required to have a great sense of humor. Is it true? Okay, not sure. So it, they are possible topics. Um, this it's like it's free. Uh, it's any topic you want to choose from. Okay, so make sure you use uh, informal language. Okay, and the tips that I shared with you. So you can use this, gentlemen, fellow classmates, and you type your speech here. Uh, make sure you end it well. Remember you say thank you. Okay, and here you leave this for your teacher to mark your speech Okay, that is about it. So happy writing your speech